Hi, everybody. Welcome to our second family event. We are so glad you've joined us. My name is Kelly, and my co-host, Billy, as you can see, is late, which is so very, very like him. But no matter, we press on. Tonight, we are going to celebrate an adventure Christmas, and I hope you'll join us for the whole thing. You know what? Do you guys have something like this in your home? Do you know what it is? It's an advent calendar. Maybe yours is smaller or bigger, but maybe yours has little doors open or maybe a drawer. Mine at home is just a piece of paper with a picture of a Christmas tree on it, and every day we cut out a paper bulb and we stick it on the wall. But the point is the same. We're counting down to something very, very special. And that's really the point of Advent. It's a time of preparation. It's a time of anticipation, of excitement, of preparing our hearts for something spectacular. In this case, we're waiting, right? We start at December 1, we go to December 25, we're looking forward to Christmas. And we're thinking about the birth of Jesus, who, which was the most incredible gift ever given to anyone. So I hope you're already thinking about this amazing gift. I hope you're thinking about Jesus and not only just him, but all the things that he brings to our lives because he brings us hope and joy and love and peace. It all comes from Jesus. Hey, wait, I, I, I thought this uh, holiday called Christmas was about getting gifts. I always hope to get a lot of gifts. Gifts bring me a lot of joy. <laughs> and, and I love to see all the presents underneath our tree. It's awesome. And, and I think my parents have a lot of peace. I, I, I think anyway, I, I don't know. And you know what else? I like to see little cute baby Jesus underneath the Christmas tree. <laughs> those are, you're right. First of all, I'm glad you joined me, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> and second, those are all great things. I love them too. But really the greatest gift is Jesus. Oh. Yeah, that's what Advent is about, right? Okay. Advent helps us celebrate the birth of Jesus. It's kind of like we get to walk up a little bit and take a look in the manger. We get to think about what happened right before his birth. We get to think about what the significance is of Jesus coming to earth. It's, it's just everything is a gift of the season, and it all ties to Jesus. Let me explain a little bit better. Oh, okay. I'm going to use these candles. First of all, we're going to start with one candle, and this first one is going to represent hope. 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 Hmm. What do you hope for this Christmas? Lots of gifts. <laughs> <laughs> kind of guess you'd say that. Kids, I want you to yell out, what do you hope for this Christmas? I wish I could hear you, but I have a feeling you, you yelled out fun gift ideas, or maybe you yelled that you want some snow, or you want to decorate Christmas cookies, or you want to maybe see somebody you haven't seen for a while. You know what, I have hopes this Christmas season too. But let's think back to when Jesus was, was born. What were the people hoping for then? You know, God's people were in a really tough spot. They, had, they knew about a promise that God had given them for a Messiah, but the truth is they hadn't heard from God for 400 years. That's a long time. It's a long time. Oh my there had been nothing. There had not been a word from God. There, he hadn't sent an angel. He hadn't sent a prophet. It had been quiet. So that they, were, they were holding on to hope, but it was growing dimmer. But then... Jesus was born. <gasps> and you can only imagine that new hope yeah. came alive. Yeah. And then the second thing that comes with Jesus is joy. Because you can imagine, at least for me, back away. The more I want something, and the longer I wait for it, if I actually get it and it happens to be, there is extreme joy. Yeah. And that's how it was with Jesus, going to the gift. The gift of Jesus brought joy and still brings joy. It's amazing. It is amazing. Wow. But, you know, how is that really possible? Hmm. I mean, 
Jesus isn't a toy. He was a baby. And have you seen babies recently? Yeah. I mean, they, they kind of just sleep and eat and poop all day. <laughs> oh, and sometimes you might even get a little smile out of them. <laughs> That's true. Jesus definitely wasn't a toy. <sighs> And he was, he did come as a baby, but he brought joy because he was part of God's rescue plan. You know, Jesus was God's answer to people's need, greatest need. He was the savior. And just don't forget that they'd been waiting for 400 years. He had waited and they'd waited and waited. And finally he was here. Oh, it's a long time. Wow. I, you know, I, I still think I would kind of wanted a Nintendo Switch instead of a baby. <laughs> Whatever. All right, back to this. Let's think about Jesus' birth. It brought such great love. Ooh, there's three of them. <laughs> love. <clears throat> when you think about, first of all, what God did, God the Father, he gave his only son. A lot of you know this verse, so say it with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his one son. You think about that. That was the greatest gift. And God had planned it from the very, very beginning to save us. Wow. And then you think about Jesus's point of view. When I was little, I always saw Jesus just appeared at the manger. Pop, there was Jesus. But no, Jesus always existed. He was always with God from the very beginning. And Jesus chose willingly to go from heaven to earth to hang out with people like us. Wow. I mean, people like your brother and your sister and your friends and you, you oh. know, we're not the easiest things to live with. And he came because he loved us so much. And it wasn't just about him living with us. He knew he was going to die as well. Jesus gave the ultimate sacrifice. He changed everything by coming. Does that make any sense? Yes, it does. Okay, now let me try to explain this. Kids, Stand up. Okay, all of you, stand up at home. That's right, because I want to tell you a secret. <laughs> Guess what? Now, wait, wait. Take a look around and look at all the old people sitting, okay? Now, seriously, uh, we'll let them sit a little bit longer because we know some of them are at least 30 years old. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, so now, here's, kids, what I want you to do is lock eyes with those people in the room. It could be your parents, could be your grandparents, could be your aunts, uncles, whoever, okay? Now, here's the secret, okay? They're having trouble remembering what the world was like without you. That's right, that's true. Their life is completely different because you're here. And you know what? They wouldn't change it for all the money in the world. Is that what you mean? <laughs> that is exactly what I mean. I could not have said it better. Thank you. Kids, you changed everything about your family when you arrived and for the better. And Jesus, when he came on Christmas Day, he changed everything for everyone for the better. Thank yeah. you, Billy. That was great. That was yeah. perfect. That's Another good. one. Oh, I know. Our fourth candle represents peace. <laughs> Scoot back. Peace. It's like taking a big breath. <sighs> but better. You know, in my house, this is what my kids sadly hear quite a bit. I just want some peace. Ooh. And I don't say it in the most peaceful voice, sadly enough. But what I'm saying is that I want us to be good with each other. You know, I want us to love each other. I want us not to be sad and angry and annoying with each other and disappointed with each other. I just want us to have good relationship. And give gifts. <laughs> gifts sometimes is yeah. part of that. <laughs> okay. But I want peace. But the, Jesus, the peace that Jesus brought was even greater because when we know Jesus, we have peace with God. Wow. And that kind of peace helps you to know that God always loves you. <laughs> that God is never disappointed, wow. that God is proud, that God has a plan for you. He'll never leave you. That brings peace, and Jesus brings us that kind of peace. Wow. Whoa. So Jesus 
was really like a superhero. Absolutely. <laughs> or a special agent. <laughs> or yes. he was the greatest, the strongest, and the best of the best. Yes. So, mm -hmm. hey, have we, have we talked about all these candles now? I mean, uh, you know, like the joy and the peace and the, and the hope and... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, all but one. We have one more, the Christ candle. Ah, but I thought all these were about Jesus. They are, they are. But notice where the Christ candle is. Right there. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> In the center. Yeah. This is where Jesus needs to be for our Christmas. He needs to be at the center. He also needs to be at the center for everything, every day of our lives. Because when he is at the center of our Christmas, we get to experience in fullness the love and the peace and the hope and the joy that he wants us to have. Wow. <laughs> wow. So Jesus really was the first gift of Christmas and the greatest gift ever. Ever. Oh, Kelly, you know what? <laughs> I, can we sing my favorite song? It's Silent Night. Uh, I love it. I love it too. I would <laughs> it love to. It's a big old tear to my eye. <laughs> it's joy though. It's joy. <laughs> Parents, if you would get in your bag, you should have some break open light up bracelets. So grab those. And if the setting is right, crack those and sing with us, please.
Friends, thank you so much for joining us today. It has been a pleasure hosting you at this virtual family event. What we want you to know is that the next parts of this event are actually with you at home already and they are in that brown bag. So you are gonna spend some time now creating a craft together, worshiping God in different ways by confessing, reflecting on what it means that he is royal and a king, and then spending time snacking, communing, answering questions all together as a family. Because one of our motivations in family ministry here at Third is our hope for you is that your living spaces will start becoming holy places to encounter God. So may you and your family this Christmas season encounter Emmanuel, God with us, as you travel through Advent this year. Be blessed and thank you.